greet the person beside you. Hello, good evening. Amen. Welcome to Wednesday Feast Festival, Alabang, brothers and sisters. If you're new here, welcome to this happiest place on earth. Welcome you here at Wednesday Feast. And I just want to declare something right from the start of our worship session tonight. I just want to say that our God is the Alpha and the Omega. He is in control of every situation in our lives. So if there is something in your life right now that you feel you've lost control, do not worry because if our God has saved us before, He will do it again and again and again. Amen, brothers and sisters. If you believe that, why don't we all shout a praise to God tonight? Come on, lift up a praise to Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You are in control. We give you our lives. Everything is for you. We thank you, Jesus. Come on, shout it out. Praise God tonight.
If you're praising a faithful God, come on, give it a shout of praise. Praise you, Jesus. You are faithful. You are divine. You are holy, oh God. And we have confidence, oh God, that we will make it through tomorrow because what you've done in the past, you will do it again and again and again. God deserves our praise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And with what we know with our God's faithfulness, we can declare and we can always say that we will never again walk in fear, but we walk in faith. Amen. All those who are walking in faith, come on, make some noise for Jesus. Make some noise for Jesus. God calls us beloved. God calls us beloved. God calls you beloved. He calls us his children. We are never forsaken and we are definitely not an outcast in his kingdom. We can claim his kingdom right here, brothers and sisters. And this is our confidence. So again, if you are not walking in fear, and if you are walking in faith, why don't you give a praise to God? Come on, let's give a praise to Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, God. We praise your name. We praise your name, oh Jesus. There is no one like you. There is no one like you, Jesus. There is no one like you. We build up our faith. We have our courage. We have our strength. Because of what Jesus did on the cross. Oh, I have this confidence because.
want to follow the Lord, give a shout to Him right now. Amen, amen, amen. Could you please tell the person beside you, get ready to follow the Lord. Get ready to follow the Lord. Amen, amen. Brothers and sisters, welcome to WFFA. This is your midweek break. We would like to ask all the first-timers to please raise your hand. Asan pa yung mga first-timers? Meron ba? Ayun, palapakan naman natin sila. Pakasabi, welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Brothers and sisters, I tell you today, since it's just, I, for those who are not aware, it's just one more week. Holy week na, grabe. Holy week na next week. Excited na ba kayo? Yung may iba dito, excited kasi bakasyon na. <laughs> yun yun, eh, no, no? But I hope you're also excited to what? Get to know the Lord much more. Amen? Brothers and sisters, before we go on with this very special talk this night, I'd like us to first just be familiar with everybody just around us. Tignan nyo yung mga katabi ninyo. Kilala nyo ba yan? Kilala nyo? Hindi. Okay. Pag hindi nyo kilala, I'd like you to turn and make sure that person to your right to your left, harap at saka likod, kilala ninyo. Is that Okay. All right, you'll reach out to this person, say hi, and then after that, you're going to say, all right, a blessing. Pakasabi, blessing. Ayan, kasi malapit ng Holy Week, it's a time of blessing. Kahit hindi mo siya kilala, wish the person some blessing. Like, I wish you what? I wish you happiness. Yan. Pag nakita ninyo, I wish you health. Yan. Or I wish you a boyfriend. Ganon. Pag kilala ninyo, di ba? Ganyan. So, kung ano man ang gusto ninyong blessing, ibigay nyo dyan sa katabi ninyo. Is that okay? Yes? Please do it with a smile. Find for the very first person you're gonna bless. Ready? And go! Go, go, go! Hi! Hello! I am... And I wish you, I bless you. Come on, look around, go around. Go, go, go. Yung mga shy dito, alisin na pagka-shy. Give a hand to the Lord, everybody. I think you can do better than that. Give a hand to the Lord. Ay, grabe. Ito ha. Tignan nyo ba yung mga katabi ninyo? Naalala nyo ba bang pangalan? Yes or no? <laughs> hindi, hindi alam. Alright? 
Verify the name of the person. Turn to all the four corners and name their names. Go! Alalahanin ang name pag nakalimutan. Come on! Ayan. Alalahanin. Sino dito 100% nakuha? Talaga. Sino dito 75% lang? 50%. Ay, yung mga iba, anong nangyari sa inyo? Wala kayo nakuha. My gosh. O, oh, ito, I think makukuha nyo to. Hot ba yung katabi nyo? Hot. Ayan. Brother Jay, talagang hot ako. Super hot. Tumatagaktak na yung bawis ko dahil sa init. You know, it's okay. At least we can mimic the love of God. Okay? This is my challenge to all of you. Despite the heat, turn it on and make it an idea that, hey, this is how God loves me. Amen? Amen? Kasi yung mga iba, pag nainitan, wala na. Wala na yung mood. Sira na yung mood niya. Tama? Alright? Pakitapik naman ang katabi niyo, pakisabing, ngumiti ka naman. <laughs> Lahat ng gustong mabless, ngumiti ngayon. Ngumiti. Yung mga hindi ngingiti, hindi mabless. Hindi totoo. Gusto mo ma-bless, tapos ang simasimangot mo, paano yan? ba? Diba? Remember, faith is seeing something when it's not there. So, your happiness does not depend on your feeling. Your happiness depends on your belief. Are you listening? Yes? And so, I invite everybody, if you really want to change your life, then it doesn't have to depend on your feeling. All right? Friends, our series this time is Breaking Bad, right? Remember? Pag-isabi, Breaking Bad. It's all about breaking bad habits. Sino dito, you want a change in your life? Raise hand. Woo! Talaga, gusto nyo talaga. Tapikin ang katabi, pag-isabi, get ready for a change. Yan. Kasi baka ayaw nyo mag-change. Di paano tayo mag-change kung hindi ka ready? Dapat ngumiti ka. The talk for today is this. Ano ang talk for today? It is what? It is inner renewal. Inner renewal. Alright? Now, why is that? Ask me why. Because of this. Everybody read. Change is an inside job. Nagawa na natin to noon. Point up, everybody. Point up. At the count of three, I want you to point to a person in this room, in this hall, in this expo that you have total control over. The person you have total control over, ready, point at him or her. One, two, three, go! But ni mga The right answer po is this way. No? Kayo po, yung may iba yata may ambition pa. Sino kaya ang kukontrolin ko dito? Ikaw, ikaw. You are delusional, dear friends, if you feel and believe that you can control another person. Hindi totoo yan. Yes? Who can you control? Yourself. So if you want change in your life, it's not about another person. It's not something from outside. It is something from inside. Change is an inside job. Ikaw yan. Pakisab sa katabi, ikaw yan. No? Huwag kang maghahanap-harap ng pagbabago sa ibang tao. Ang hilig-hilig kasi natin. Pag may mali, uy, yung tao nga, alam ko yan. Ay, may mga magiging makakasalanan niya. Kapitbahay ko yan. Yung kaibigan ko yan, nanay ko yan, kapatid ko yan, yung anak ko yan. Sila yan. But friends, listen. Everybody say, but the real issue is us. Ang dapat isipin, now when I say all of this, Ang daming iniisip natin, ibang tao. But that is not what we're supposed to think of. We're supposed to think in terms of us. How does that apply to me? Are you listening? Yes? Who wants blessing here? Please raise your hand. Yes? Who wants to move forward in your life? Who wants to make this holy week transformational? Raise your hand. Amen. If that is the case, by the way, guys, just in case you don't know, this is our last WFFA before Holy Week. We will not have a WFFA next week because that's Holy Week already, okay? The next time we're going to see each other is on Easter week already, week after next. So make this special. Are you with me? Are you ready to declare it special, yes? 
Then open your heart, smile, open your arms if you're ready. And tignan na mukha lang, paki-check lang kung ready na. Paki-check, naka-smile na, ready na. Let's ask for God's blessing, amen? And let's be ready for God's transformation. Let's give a hand to the Lord first and give Him all the joy. Woohoo! Bless us today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Declare today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am, I am, I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Together. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Brothers and sisters, I'd like to share with you our big message for this evening. Everybody, please read it. Go. Yeah, pakisabi sa katabi, go. God is changing you. And the Word of God, are you ready for God's Word? This is our key verse for this evening. And really, if you really want to change in, a, in your life right now, you need to take note of this. Together from James chapter 4. Submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Grabe. Pakisabi, submit. Pakisabi, resist. Yan. Tignan nyo ang katabi ninyo. Nagsasubmit ba yan? O matigas sa ulo? Matigas sa ulo? Pag nasa peace, hindi nakikinig. No? Uh. Nakwento ko na naman sa inyo yung isang kwento tungkol sa isang possessed na tao, di ba? Yung yung best friend niya, katabi niya, nanenervyos yung tao. Bakit? Kasi, naku, possessed itong tao no, baka saniban ako. So, anong ginagawa niya? Anong ginagawa niya? Hmm. Ayan. Di ba? No? Ayan. Hopefully, maalis yung, yung demonyo. Pero yung demonyo, tawa lang tawa. Bakit? Kasi sasabihin niya, ha? Ah, bakit? Gusto niyo ako matakot dyan? Ikaw mismo, hindi ka natatakot dyan sa cross na yan. Ba't ako matatakot dyan? Grabe. Tapos ang sabi niya, natatakot kang saniban kita? Ano ka ba? Sa lahat ng ginagawa mo sa buhay mo, sinasabi mo sa buhay mo at iniisip mo, natatakot ka pang saniban kita? Ano ka ba? Hindi na kailangan. Akin ka na. Gosh. Tapikin niyo ang katabi ninyo. Pakisabi, narinig mo yun. Because brothers and sisters, possession is the worst kind of what? Infiltration by the devil. The, the lightest form of infiltration of the devil is simple. Ask me what? When we give in to sin. Pag pumayak ka sa kasalanan, pinapasok mo na rin demonyo mo. Actually, yung possession, kaya nandyan yung spirito na yan, kasi meron siyang pinaghahawakang kasalanan. Ano mga kasalanan? Galit, unforgiveness, impurity, pride. Yan. Yan ang pinaghahawakan. Okay? Kaya kahit cast out ka ng cast out, kung yung tao hindi nagle-let go dun sa sin na yan, mahirap i-cast out yung demonyo. Bakit? Kasi may bahay siya. Are you listening? So this is my encouragement. As we enter Holy Week, get rid of the devil in you. Do you get me? Right? Who wants to get rid of the devil in them? Kung tumasang kamay na yung katabi, pakisabi, sigurado ka ha? Kasi ma maraming tao, gusto nila yung demonyo. Sasabihin niya, oh, tukso. Lumapit ka. <laughs> Yun ang gusto nila. Nilalapit pa nila yung tukso. Diba? Sabi nila yung isang, yung isang sitwasyon, yung lalaki, oh, biglang may nakitang gandang-gandang babae. Eh, may asawa siya. Lapit ng palapit yung babae. Anong sabi niya? Lord, 
close my eyes. Close my eyes, sabi niya. Palapit ang palapit yung babae. Lord, Lord, help me. Close my eyes. Close my eyes. No, hanggat nasa harap na siya, tapos hinawakan na yung balikat niya nung babae. Sabi niya, Lord, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Tapi ka ng katabi, pakisabi, huwag kang ganon. <laughs> Marami yatang tinamaan. Friends, who wants inner renewal? Are you listening? There are two steps. There are two steps. How many? For many people, they want to get rid of the devil. They want to change their habits immediately. But friends, there's a problem there. Ask me what? That's step two already. Yung maaalis mo yung, yung hindi okay na na habit mo. You're going to what? You're going to preempt the process. Dapat, step one first. Eh, Brother Jay, ano yung step one? Step two is you get rid of the devil. But step one is first this. Ask me what? Submit to God. Before you get rid of the bad, you need to submit to the good. Are you following? Look at the verse. Submit to God muna, tapos resist the devil. So kung resist ka ng resist the devil, pero hindi ka naman nagsasubmit ka God, susundan ka ba ng demonyo? Baka hindi. Tapikin nyo ang katabi ninyo, naintindihan mo ba? Nasabi. Let me give you an example. Sino dito nagre-wrestling? Nagre-wrestling. Sino dito mukhang nagre-wrestling? Sino dito nanonood ng wrestling? Ayan, no? baka nanonood kayo ng ano, Wrestlemania or WWE, mga ganyan, di ba? In wrestling, a person is put down, put under one's control by force. Tama? Everybody say force. Friends, that is not submission because it is by force. Submission is voluntary. But when it's by force, what do you call that? Ask me what? This. Everybody read? Whoops. What? Subjugation. Oh, grabe. Maganda dito sa WFA, talaga may bagong vocabulary tayo, di ba? So, ngayon, makakalapit ka na sa inkaibigan mo, sabi mo, subjugation. Yeah, di ba? So, alam mo yan. Tapos akala niya, grammar, di ba? Subjugation. But no, subjugation is what? When you are forced to what? To submit. That's not what God wants. God doesn't want robots. He wants relationships. Are you listening? He wants relationships. So listen. Could you all read? God does not want to conquer you. He wants to court you. Oh, di ba? Sweet naman pala ni Lord. Or God wants to court you. He wants a relationship. Change cannot come forcibly from outside. It has to come from inside. Are you following? Please read this. Submission to God means what? Trusting His leadership and doing so freely, not by force or by fear. So, everybody say leadership. Kaninong leadership ka magsasubmit? Kay God, not by force or by fear. Asa na mga nanay dito? Nanay. Ayan, ayan, ayan. May mga nanay. Sino dito gustong maging nanay? Ayan. Yung mga ibang babae, ayaw nyo? Ayaw nyo? Sige, sige. Alright. Mothers, I'd just like to tell you my experience. A lot of mothers have come to us, builders. Come to me. And they will say this. Especially if they have a teenage son. Brother Jay, kausapin mo naman yung anak ko. Kausapin mo nga siya. Hindi ko siya maintindihan. May problema siya. Ganyan. Kausapin mo kasi nag-adik-adik nag, adik sa, sa games. Ganyan. Or hindi, hindi nag-aaral. Or ano, hindi nag-aaten ng feast. 